Hi everyone and welcome to the first day of our Leo Wellbeing Week. My name is Miss Elkins and I'm going to show you how to complete your task for today. So the theme for today's wellbeing activity is all about being connected. So what we want you to try and do is create a happiness poster that promotes friendship and then we're going to stick that poster in your front window for passers-by to appreciate and enjoy. So on your screen you'll see a little picture which is what we're aiming to do today so we're going to create what I like to call a friendship tree where all the leaves and, and everything that make up that tree are all the values that we think are really really important in friendship so our first step step number one is to on your bit of paper so it can be an A3 bit of paper an A4 bit of paper it's up to you you need to try and draw an outline of a tree okay so just the trunk and the branches no leaves on it because they're gonna we're gonna add those later so it's just that basic outline and then once we have that basic outline, you can add some colour to it. So as you can see here, I've used watercolour paint to add in the colour onto my tree. But you could use anything else that you have around the house. So colouring pens, colouring pencils. If you want to make it 3D, you could use some tissue paper or some scrunched up card. It's your choice. Okay. You might also be able to see that on the tree, I've added a little bit of shading as well. So I've thought about where the light would hit it and where the darker parts of the tree would be as well. And I've used that. Um, to inform where I'm going to put the lighter shades and thought about the tonal features as well. Then once we've got our outline of our tree all coloured in and with, um, with colour added to it, we're going to add our leaves. So you can make your leaves by taking some plain paper, cutting them out into some leaf shapes and then adding colour to them. I've decided to go for a rainbow theme for the colour of my leaves. So I've got some reds and yellows, oranges, blues and greens. But you could go for a plain colour. You could do it all blue or all yellow or all red. Okay? Or you could just go um, all green as well. If you'd rather just draw the leaves straight onto your tree as well, that's also absolutely fine. And the cutting it out is just a suggestion. And then once we've got those leaves all cut out, we want to think about what we're going to put on those leaves. And to do that, we need to think about what we really value in our friendships. So I've got this sentence here and I want you to try and think about what words you would put at the end of it. So friendship is what? What words would you associate it? When you think of your friends and you think of friendship, what words jump out at you? What things do you like to do with your friends? What qualities do you like your friends to have? So here are some words that I thought uh, I um, particularly picked out. So words that I thought were particularly important in friendship. So I've got laughter, listening, trust, silliness, watching films, um, having differences, but also having things in common and being able to talk to each other and being there for each other. So knowing that there's someone there who will help you if you need it. And there's always someone that you can rely on. Once you've got a few words that you're happy with, that's when we're going to add those to our leaves. So you're going to take some of those coloured leaves that you've made before and then write some of those words onto those leaves. Now, you don't need to fill every single leaf that you made, but you just need a few of them. So you've got those keywords and um, that will jump out at you when you look at that poster. Once you've got those and you're happy with that, that's when we can start adding those leaves to our tree. So I've chosen slightly bigger leaves for those ones, just so that it's a little bit clearer to anyone who's looking at my poster. And then once we've got those on there, that's when we can fill up the space with some smaller leaves as well. Now, I've chosen smaller leaves to fill up the rest of the tree just so that those ones with the words on it really, really stand out and are really clear to, the, to whoever's walking by and looking at your friendship tree. And then it's all about those little finishing touches. So I've added a little title at the bottom saying friendship is, but you could um, do that in a slightly different way. You could put the title somewhere different. You could have it coming going up the tree trunk. You could also add a background or some grass and some flowers along the bottom if you want as well. And then the last thing to do is to put that little friendship poster, that friendship tree up in your window so the passers-by can see it and we can see all those qualities that connect us with our friends and connect us to our community as well if you want to send in any of your work feel free to tweet us at leo academies or send it into the leo distance learning team we'd love to see what you've been up to today and um, i really hope you enjoy making your friendship trees um, and i'd really want to see them up in the community as well so make sure you get them up in your window enjoy the rest of wellbeing week See you really soon. Take care, everyone.